I took the conductor and washed it with soap and water and a brass brush to remove any traces of a mold release and to slightly scuff up the surface of all the cast pieces. I then used acrylic paint. When you use the acrylic paint it dries to a matte finish. You spray that with the gloss acrylic and that seals the paint and makes it shine. So now we're going to take this all apart and we're going to antique this to make it look like it's been around for a while. The resin for the conductor had flesh tone colorant mixed in with it so the face and the hands are flesh toned and there's no need to paint that. That makes painting the details on the face and the hands a lot easier. The first conductor that we experimented with was antiqued with black paint and I thought that was a little bit too dark. I'm using a mixture of brown, this is teddy bear tan, and I'll put a little black in it. And I'll end up with something that's more like a dark charcoal. This is very precise measurement. A little bit of brown and just a dab of black. Mix it until you like it. And we'll start with the face. Now you want to make sure that you have sprayed this with acrylic before you start. If you don't, you're going to have a mess. Now we're going to precisely paint all the cracks and crevices. Because you can see where we've painted, you really can't see the detail that was put into the original figure. Now you just start wiping it off. And the idea is to wipe across the details. So you're going to wipe off the high point and you'll leave this darker color in the indentations. wipe off too much, just put on a little more and do it again. This is a bamboo skewer. I take the pointed end, a couple of thicknesses of this paper towel, and I go in there and clean up around the eye. I just want a little bit of shadow in there to make it a little more attractive. I don't want him to look like he's had a black eye. This is a rag, very slightly dampened with water. some shadows, but I don't want pockets of the color inside here. The acrylic paint will dry out fairly fast, so I found it's easier to do this in sections. My preference is to have a light shadow, not to have too much of an accumulation of this paint. The indentations for the nose can fill in a bit too much. And the dimples here at the sides of the mouth. It's a pretty simple process. It gives it a slightly aged, older look, and you can more clearly see all the details that were put into the original figure. It just makes it stand out. The one I did earlier. Where you stop is up to your preference. You have to work fairly fast with this. And then I go back and damp cloth and I clean up the skin. A little bit. 
Now it's just a matter of going on to the other sections. I do this part, and I do that part, and I do the top, and that will take care of that. Now, the good part of this is that if you screw this up, if it gets dry, if it gets ahead of you, get a toothbrush, put it under the tap with a little soap and water, and gently scrub it, and you'll take all that paint off, let it dry, and you get to start over again. And that's all there is to it. The quality and appearance of the conductor will strictly be a function of how much time and effort you put into it. There are quite a few details in the original figure. Every time you put a coat of paint on here, the thickness of the paint, and how many coats of the clear acrylic are sprayed on here, they all start to fill in these fine details that were put in the original figure. It will oftentimes take more than one coat of paint to give a good appearance. When you put this acrylic paint on here, you got to let it dry. It's going to be a matte finish. When you get ready to put on the second coat, you need to do it somewhat quickly so that the second coat's not trying to dissolve the first coat. You let that dry. And then you put this clear coat on here before you start doing the antiquing. Several light coats of the acrylic is better than one heavy one. You certainly don't want any runs or drips in it. That would ruin the whole thing. And then when you come back and you start trying to age this a little bit, or what I'm calling antiquing, this is one of the few times in life when you actually get a do-over. And if you mess it up, you can come back with a toothbrush under running water and scrub all that paint off, let it dry, and do it again. When you're absolutely sure that you're happy with your result, then you can apply another coat of acrylic clear, and that will seal the color that you used for antiquing, and that won't rub off anymore. It will then be permanent. You'll probably have to run a drill bit back through these holes because your paint and your acrylic will have filled those in a little bit and your arms and your head will not pivot as freely. You need to loosen those up just a little bit. These two conductors, the, uh, the casting material was white and the face and the hands were painted on these two and it was darkened with black paint. The face and the hands on these three have the skin tone cast into the plastic. So the faces and hands do not require painting. And I darken this with that dark charcoal. And it makes the details show up so much better in the figure. And these are ready to go into an organ.